Well, it's definitely shaping up to be another hot day here across the valley. Here's a live look right now from South Padre Island. Currently 92 degrees, mostly clear skies. Good day to be along the coast or in the pool because we are expecting those temperatures to continue rising into the upper 90s, eventually topping out in the hundreds. McAllen right now 93, Harlingen 91, Brownsville 93. This is a view from our NBC 23 Far Bureau out in uh, along the expressway there near the Sugar Road exit. Smooth sailing as of now, but as far as the rest of our afternoon, we are expecting those breezy conditions to be a factor. Winds already gusting between 34 and 36 miles an hour. You're actually able to see that camera in the background just shake there as we are dealing with with extremely breezy conditions that in combination with the dry vegetation that we're currently seeing here across the valley is going to contribute to an elevated fire weather risk. So outdoor burning definitely not recommended for today as fires could spread rapidly. We definitely saw some of those uh, fires a bit out of control in and around Star County yesterday from the Texas A&M Forest Service. Uh, they're giving us a very high probability of a fire weather risk there uh, for today that stretches from South Padre Island all the way to Rio Grande City. So definitely expecting those uh, dry vegetation as well as those increasing drought conditions. Moderate drought conditions in place in completely encompassing Star, Hidalgo, Cameron, and Willisey counties. Our coastal areas are abnormally dry, but as we uh, look at those current burn bans, as a reminder, there is a burn ban currently in effect for Star County as they haven't really received much rain there. Satellite and radar showing mostly clear and calm conditions across Texas. We have that high pressure system situated across the south central U.S. That's going to keep things very very quiet for the rest of our work week really causing no significant rain chances, at least from here on out. But as we look at the next uh, few days, hot conditions expected highs in the 90s and hundreds, lows in the 70s and 80s. However, as we head into Friday and Saturday, we're going to see a minor disturbance move across the Gulf of Mexico, bringing rain chances to our coastal area. So we could see an isolated shower or two start flaring up, and we're going to keep that slight rain chance in the picture from Friday through Sunday, potentially lasting into Monday there, and then mostly sunny skies expected for for much of next week. But other than that, so we are expecting those uh, rain chances to be along our lower valley areas to our coastal areas. As the tropics are getting into the close to the peak of hurricane season, no activity expected within the next five days. We are tracking that Saharan dust that is moving across the Atlantic Ocean. That is going to bring us some hazy skies as well as causing problems with folks with lung sensitivities. So definitely expecting that Saharan dust to keep the tropics at bay because those tropical systems really do not like that Saharan dust as it remains over the Atlantic Ocean activity during hurricane season. We're getting closer towards that peak period there. End of August, September there. We're at August 1st right now, so we are definitely expecting those conditions just to remain a bit on the quiet side, but then we can expect an uptick of activity as we head into the coming days there. A look at your seven day forecast highs in the 90s and hundreds lows in the 70s. We are expecting that rain chance to last through Sunday.